guys! Welcome to this week's vlog. We are super excited to bring you with us to an adventure today. Uh, we're so sorry the past week we weren't able to upload a vlog or any vlogs. It's because we've just been so busy with projects and this is actually the first Saturday in weeks where we're not filming anything and so we're gonna take this opportunity to vlog today and go on an adventure today on a very special place here in Puerto Rico that a lot of people have gone and suggested to us. We've been there once but we're gonna explore more places today to show you. So let's go! <laughs> Don't forget the keys. We've been locked out once and that's not gonna ever happen again. Okay, we have the car keys. We have the Trehan's keys because we're babysitting a cat tonight. <laughs> I mean feeding a cat, not babysitting. Um, we need the house keys to sign here. Let's go. Okay. Uh, we are so sorry again for not posting the past week, weeks, but how are you guys? Make sure to comment down how your week's been, the good and the bad. We just love hearing from you. We love reading the amazing comments that you guys post um, on the comments every time. So yeah, just comment whatever um, how your week's been, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'd love to hear what you guys are doing. It makes us happy. Happy. But anyway, um, it's gonna be quite some time. <laughs> oh shoot. No. We're gonna use this time as story time to tell you interesting things that has happened this week. Um, and so yeah, what story should we start with? Um, so basically this last two weeks we had a friend come over. Yes, Hawaii. she was our first guest ever here in Puerto Rico. It was unexpected. Um, just because like we don't hang out as much in Hawaii, but uh, we are super happy that she came to visit us. She's an amazing girl. She's originally from Mexico. We met her at BYU Hawaii for one of our projects. We needed a um, local Mexican Spanish speaker. And I don't know why I thought that Spanish, Mexican Spanish and Puerto Rican Spanish are the same. But then I learned my lesson that it's totally not totally like it's like different in a lot of ways just the way that they pronounce things the use of words and this for a specific project we needed like they're very strict about it a mexican unex oh, an unaccent unaccented mexican spanish speaker and we're super glad that she was up for it and so she got to visit us for a few days we filmed her for the commercial that we were doing and we got to show her around puerto rico it is, it's so fun really to like fun. have someone visit us so if you're ever in Puerto Rico, let us know. <laughs> yeah, come visit guys, that'd be so much fun. Yes. Okay, uh, another one that has happened this week, uh, aside from the busy projects, I got to do and go back to film in Seba, which is three hours away from here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I'll put some pictures of the behind the scenes for this movie that will be upcoming um, next, either next year or in two years. I can't really talk a lot about it, but in the future we'll post more about or talk more about this movie. It's with a lot of amazing actors, and it was just so much fun um, being part of that movie. Yeah, I got to learn a lot about filmmaking, um, just like watching from afar and just like being a part of it. So, so cool. Yes, another one um, a few days ago. It's just like it was this week, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, James was in San Juan. He, I was in the movie set and he was just by himself. Why don't you tell the story? Why am I telling this story? So, okay, so I was in San Juan and I was at this central park. It's called Luis Munoz. And, um, Luis Munoz. Luis Munoz. Something park. Par parque. Parque. Okay. Luis Munoz par Parque. Luis Munoz. And I was waiting for her to finish her filming for the movie. And so I was just in the park sketching on my iPad just doing some drawings and stuff like that. I was actually there for like two hours. And um, what happened was um, I went back to the car, it was already dark, and she had called and said, okay, I'm gonna be coming to you, so. Like, I, I told back. him like, meet, meet me at this place in 30 minutes. Yeah, so I was going back and then as I was going, I was getting my stuff in the car and then I, I was sitting in the car. He just got in the car. I put my, my iPad on top of my backpack in the back seat, and then all of a sudden two guys came 
two guys came out Trailing. of nowhere <laughs> and came inside a car and just sat in the back. Like, just imagine like you're sitting and this is like a, a public park, but apparently at that night there was not a lot of people in there. So, yeah. yeah so they came in the car and like, hey guys, uh, can, can I do this? Um, yeah, ask for a ride somewhere. Okay, James, um, what did you tell them? So I said, yeah, I gotta go. I, I, you guys can't be in the park, but um, in in the sand, not not like this one, like yeah, guys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so I guess they got out of the car, and I didn't realize it. And I I left because I was trying to leave quickly, and then I came to the place where I was supposed to pick her up. And I just was checking in the back looking for like something. Like he realized that, like, wait, my bag was in the back, my iPad is in the back. And so I looked everywhere, and, I, and then I realized, oh shoot, my iPad is gone. Yeah. <laughs> So sad so, day. But they left um, the, the Apple pencil, which is yeah. They probably think like oh, it's a random pencil. But yeah, all in all, like though, even though that happened, we still think that Puerto Rico or San Juan as a whole is still a safe place. This is the one in a million experience, um, random experience that you get to yeah experience. experience. Well, yeah. Anyways, the reason why we're sweating so much when we were we're sweating so much in yeah. addition to that day that getting robbed. Um, <laughs> The AC in her car just broke down. <laughs> just it's and not it's working anymore. And really so hot. like it's so hot right now. We can't pull the windows down right now because we're vlogging and like it's gonna overpower the audio of this video. So bear with us for a little bit more. <laughs> James got robbed. Our car is slowly breaking down, but all in all, it's still been amazing. There's still like definitely more good things than bad things. Um, that has happened. We get to appreciate with these happenings. We get to appreciate more what we have and the good things that are happening in life. So, yeah. what positive things have you experienced? This week? Comment them down below. It's an hour and 20 minutes later. We are almost to our first destination of the day. It's basically a museum where you get to learn more about the indigenous culture here in Puerto Rico. Um, that's one thing that we would love to do here is um, instead of just going around having fun, we would love to learn more about the history of the place and yeah, just like the culture here. So we're going to be showing you some parts of it, but check out this view! Isn't that so pretty? This is on the countryside of the city called Utuat. We're about to say hi to a cow! Hello! <laughs> so we're here at the place and um, it's starting to rain a little bit but it's okay because we the like the so rain. Nice. Yeah, so whenever you we're come up in a mountain here. Whenever you come up in the mountains, you'll notice that the weather gets a lot cooler. It feels really nice up here. Hey guys, so we just got here at the, I don't know, museum park. It's $5 per person to get in, which is definitely worth it. Um, the name of the place is Caguana. And I, as far as from what the lady told us, it's the name of the chief um, of the Tainos that lived here. Tainos are the indigenous people of Puerto Rico. Um, this place was discovered by archaeologists. And we, we get to see like a lot of petroglyphs a lot of um, formations that the Tainos or the indigenous people um, have done when they lived here in Utuwad. So coming to a place like this was really a unique experience. You could feel a sense of reverence and beauty and a desire to understand what this place was like hundreds of years ago. We learned that this is the most important Taino archaeology site in the Caribbean. It's believed that the Tainos used this location for over 300 years before the Spanish came. And they chose this spot for a specific reason, being in the shadows of a mountain resembling a deity. There are 10 ceremonial plazas and an array of unique petroglyphs. While observing the petroglyphs made us think and wonder what do they represent and what do they mean? And it's amazing that they're still here as if they were carved out yesterday. Just like we use symbols, icons, and images in our own modern world to describe things and be able to recognize a specific name or a brand or a meaning, I just wonder what these were for. Either way, they're so interesting because 
They're kind of like a gateway to the past. It's great how they maintain and take care of this place to help preserve this culture for generations to learn and respect. We would definitely recommend visiting the Caguana ceremonial site if you get a chance to venture into Utuado. It's definitely a place worth seeing. This week we met another vlogger that uh, messaged us on Instagram or YouTube. Uh, actually, he um, sent a text message, right? That's why I said he messaged us. <laughs> So he messaged us and he was visiting here. Um, his name's Ovi Duran. Like you should guys should follow him if you want to learn more about Puerto Rico. He does a lot of vlogs that's super like, cool. Guy. Yeah, related to Puerto Rico. We'll put his link down below. We met with him at the plaza and we got to meet him and introduce him to people that we met there. Hey, uh, good morning or good afternoon wherever you are. I am Ovi Duran. Uh, I come here to Puerto Rico once or twice a year. Uh, unfortunately, due to the pandemic, I've been holding back a little bit. But I do videos. I do vlogs of you know of the things that I do here on the island. But back home, I'm a federal employee. I work for the U.S. Navy. I'm also a retired Navy senior chief. But uh, many years ago, um, I decided to come and record everything that I see and do here in Puerto Rico, like. Uh, you know what it is that people do, how uh, places to go. I, you know, people in, in, in the states, especially Puerto Ricans in the states, they love to see their old towns here on the island, and obviously meet guys like you and collaborate and uh, share my experiences here on the island. So you guys on the other side uh, can experience them via, you know, YouTube as well. What's your channel? Ovi Duran. Ovi Duran. Uh, Ovi Duran. Ovi Duran, yeah. We'll share that. So, yeah. But yeah, he's a really cool guy. He shared with us some cool things. and uh, Thank you. Can't wait to meet up and ex explore more with him. So, yeah. so like I said earlier, I'm going to be back in March. And there's a Festival de la China Dulce or Sweet Orange Festival in Las Marias. You guys got to come. It's a three-day festival mid-March. I don't have the exact dates yet, but I'll have that to you. And they have music, food, um, lots of things to do. And you can come every day if you want, obviously. Awesome. So today, what I'm gonna do after we, we finish here, I'm gonna go down to the beach, maybe uh, the Tablado, uh, fly the drone. Oh, by the way, I do have a drone, the Mavic Air 2, and I like to fly it at uh, every town I go to, especially the plazas and the surrounding areas. Awesome. Yeah. Well, gracias y uh, we'll talk to you soon. Yeah, gracias a ustedes. Yeah. At the end of the day, we walked to Playa Montones and just enjoyed the water as the sun was setting to the west. It was a perfect time to relax and reflect on the things we experienced this week and the people we met. Being close to the water is really a unique form of therapy. Maybe because we're made up of over 60% water and it just feels so natural. So uh, make sure to subscribe, stay tuned, and we will see you on the next vlog and the next adventure.